This time I'm going to convert negative 18.0625 into the floating point format. The first step is to convert this number into its binary equivalent. So negative 18.0625 is 16 plus 2 plus 1 16th. So no halves, no fourths, no eighths, but 1 16th. And this is a negative number. So because it's a negative number, I know I can just set my sign bit now. It's a 1 for negative. But I really need to convert this number into normalized scientific notation. To do that, I'm going to need to move my binary point over 1, 2, 3, 4 places, which will give me negative 1.5. times 2 to the fourth. So I've got my sine bit. It was a negative. Next I want my exponent. So my exponent here is 4, but I need to add my bias of 127. 4 plus 127 is 131. So I'll want to convert that 131 into binary so I can put it in my exponent field. That will be 128 plus 3. So there's 131. I will copy that into my exponent field. And last I have my mantissa. Again, my mantissa is everything after the binary point. So I will just copy all of that in and fill in the right hand side with zeros. And again, I'll fill in the right hand side with zeros. So there is the binary version of the floating point representation for negative 18.0625. If I want to represent this as a hexadecimal number instead, again, I'll look for blocks of 4 and convert those into hexadecimal values instead. So here I've got C, 1, 9, 0, 8, and then 0, 0, 0. So there is the hexadecimal equivalent of our floating point format number.